Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I would like to uh, thank uh, the uh, Bulgarian Academy of Science and the Science Education Foundation for giving me the opportunity to present this work on the uh, territorial energy strategy based on the gasification thermoconversion of waste. This work has been conducted mainly by two teams on, in Salion, National Institute of Applied Sciences in France, uh, academic laboratory, uh, waste and pollution, and also uh, Polydems, which is an eco-technology platform, and a small and medium uh, enterprise called Cogebio, in, involved in gasification. Um, so my presentation is too big for 10 minutes, so you will, uh, you will see all the details in the, in the presentation when you, 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 it will be available on the site. I will uh, go directly to the main point. So um, Provadem says uh, something that has been developed in France in order to fill the gap between lab scale research and uh, full scale in order to, to conduct uh, pilot scale and demonstration scale of the development of eco-technology, eco-technology, all the technology that can produce new resources in energy or material based on the waste mainly and influence. Uh, there is a, um, it has been launched by the, 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 the two French scientific networks. Uh, it's connected with the, the industry, with the French competitiveness cluster, etc. And uh, this is uh, one of the, the European reference in the field of ecotechnology. So we are mainly working for industry, but in fact also for some government, like uh, you see here with the, uh, the Deputy Prime Minister of the Republic of China, and also the, the former President of Equalor. There is a very strong uh, context in uh, the international level and particularly in France concerning the, the development of alternative energy resources. Uh, and in this field, we think that gasification and paralysis are going to play a major role because they are very well adapted to. Uh, there is also the fact that uh, incineration is not really uh, uh, easily accepted by, by the, the population that we try to develop other way of producing energy based on the thermal conversion of waste. And we think that gasification and paralysis is an interesting uh, approach, uh, including for, um, I would say, bad fuels, waste fuels, um, and it is um, adapted to the size of the uh, local use of energy. So this total approach I would like to present to you. So uh, in connection with industry, which is completely necessary in this kind of field, we have already uh, developed paralysis and gasification on agricultural waste, and mainly on uh, cashew nuts and also uh, olive oil residue, which is undergoing. Paralysis of plastic waste, gasification of sewage sludge, gasification of wood waste, from clean waste to very polluted waste, hazardous waste. Uh, and also uh, gasification of uh, solid recovered fuel. Of course, I'm not going to present um, everything uh, this morning. So um, we have a lot of questions. Uh, if you want to produce syngas for combustion, for production of energy, heat or core generation, do you have the adequate burner? Because the burner is not going to be the same for natural gas and for this kind of uh, uh, synthetic gas, which is a poor gas. Uh, do you have availability of the customer or local end user? Very important. It's, it's no sense to produce energy in a place if you have nobody to use energy at this place. Uh, what about the, uh, the, the efficiency? Uh, what about the readiness level of technology, which is always a question when you are working in innov innovation uh, perspective? If you want to produce syngas to be used as a syngas, to be traded, so uh, what about the gas cleaning? Because this gas is, is going to contain a lot of tars and uh, organic and inorganic contaminants. Uh, how to enrich this gas, potentially by methanation. Uh, if you are going to produce uh, oil or liquid fuel, what about the specification of the market? Can you, can you fill the, your tank in your car with this uh, fuel? Is it okay or not? <laughs> 
Uh, and if you, want, if you want to produce solid uh, fuel, charcoal, what is the content of pollutants, what is the energy value, and most of all, is it possible to do this with waste? So, a few examples, uh, very short. Uh, the first one has been conducted with uh, different NGO and received the, uh, the first prize for uh, Suez in, in, in 2016. It's about the paralysis of the shell of the, of the cashew nut in order to produce energy and, and steam and to help the, the women working in West Africa in order to produce uh, this uh, shell. So it was pyrolysis combined with production of steam. Uh, another example is what we did on the uh, pyrolysis of uh, waste plastics. Uh, there is a hierarchy official at the European level saying that it's better to recycle than to produce energy. I'm not always in agreement with this. Sometimes it's better to produce energy than to recycle bad plastic, to produce bad product. Is it really interesting to recycle everything? So uh, we think that there is a lot of work to do with pr production of energy with waste and including with plastic waste, non-recyclable plastic waste or plastic waste that you can gather in the ocean, for example, to, to clean the environment. And it's pretty easy, in fact, with very uh, low uh, equipment, very simple equipment to produce fuel that can be used, for example, in, uh, to produce electricity for a hospital or for refugee, for example, where there is no connection with the grid. You can easily produce uh, fuel um, uh, with, uh, with plastic waste. Uh, so there is a, a lot of knowledge on gasification technology, but only in a very limited field, which is uh, clean wood and also uh, coal. But there is a lot, a lot of question when you want to, to, to work on it uh, with waste. And uh, you have a lot of questions like uh, moisture content, pollutant content, uh, bioevolution linked to moisture, granulometry, particle size distribution, density, ash contain, mechanical strength, inorganic contaminants, so a lot, a lot of questions. And if you want to work with fixed bed gasification process, uh, which are the, 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 the more adapted for, for, for the waste and the local use and the smaller, small size plant, uh, you, have, uh, you have to deal with uh, the consequence uh, on the thermochemical uh, mechanism and also on the uh, physical behavior of the bed. So you have uh, the, uh, the picture of the, the pilot uh, plant we, we have on Provadems, which is uh, the first size of the industrial scale. So this is an industrial uh, reactor, but the, the smallest. And uh, using uh, industrial uh, equipment for the research, help to uh, extrapolate the parameters and the behavior for the, the, the biggest plant, of course. So uh, we conducted, uh, so just to remind you, uh, the four steps of gasification. You have uh, four steps. Uh, the first one is drying, adjusting the humidity of the, uh, the moisture of the, of the bed. Then you have a phase of pyrolysis, so thermal conversion without air in order to break uh, the molecules of the, of the fuel in order to produce volatile matter and also a char. And then this volatile matter are going to the third step, which is combustion of the volatile matter in order to produce a first set of energy and also uh, CO2 and, H, uh, and, uh, and, and water, uh, H, H2O. And then you have the famous last phase of official gasification, in, even if the whole process is gasification, is partial reduction of this and partial oxidation of the char in order to produce the syngas, which is really the, the production of this uh, process, which is a mix of CO and H2. And finally, at the end, you have this mix and uh, a very limited amount of ash with a limited uh, uh, number, uh, quantity of, uh, of uh, carbon. 
So I didn't have any time to look through all the, the experiments and the, the, the question of all the, 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 the mechanism we address in this, but you have to know that uh, this is, we, we consider the, the problem of head loss, of staffing and vaulting, which can be very dangerous because when you have a vaulting, you are going to have um, uh, accumulation of gas and accumulation of gas after a certain time become an explosion. So it's very important to, 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 to address it and to regulate the production of gas and energy. Fracturing and fragmentation of the bed, uh, preferential pass, channeling, settlement of the bed, so a lot of uh, questions that have to be addressed by a good knowledge of the waste and a good combination of the waste. We are believing that the, the solution of this is not working on uh, gasification of municipal solid waste or gasification of wood waste or gasification of sewage sludge alone. We think that at territorial level it's possible to build cocktail of waste addressing the exact good uh, physical, thermal and mechanical parameters in order to have a good artificial fuel. We work on the, this different kind of wood, wood A, wood B, uh, stuff fr from uh, recycling, uh, sewage so sludge uh, and, and granulated uh, solid residual fuel. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, I'm running time. Um, and uh, finally, a few uh, information concerning the notion of uh, developing waste to energy at the territorial level. So we are working on a territory on the north of Lyon. Lyon is the second city, former capital of, of uh, France and uh, second city in France. And in the north of Lyon, we have a, a territory where we are going to develop um, uh, a technopole dedicated to eco cities of the future, and this want to demonstrate how the, the cities can be can work for in, in the future. And we are in charge of the uh, the, the, the development of uh, the production of energy for this uh, technopole, and we have this idea of producing all the energy based on waste already produced around the area because this area. Uh, is um, in the countryside with a lot of agriculture around the, 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 the place and the place is a former military camp with already a lot of ways to treat. The first category is uh, railway, ra railroad ties, sorry, which is uh, wood waste class C, which is, means hazardous waste, we, containing a lot of uh, pollutants. Uh, it, it can be arsenic, it can be copper, uh, chromium and so on, but in this case it's creosote, which are phenol and PAH. And uh, okay, you see that the, the calorific value is very high, it's uh, better than natural wood. Uh, but we combine, we will combine uh, this uh, waste, existing waste, with other waste of the surrounding, like a sewage sludge, dried sewage sludge, uh, bulky waste, which is a very real problem in France, there was a lot, a lot of bulky waste, demolition waste, wood waste, uh, recycling waste, and all these wastes are not at all um, well uh, re reused and uh, to, to produce uh, resources. Uh, corn cobs, which are lost uh, in, the, uh, in, in the ground with no real effect, and we are willing to... And uh, this is residue from mechanical biological sorting. As I said, more and more people are not in favor of incineration. They refuse incineration. So more and more people are working on the uh, production of energy or matter based on the biological part of our of municipal solid waste, composting or anaerobic digestion. So it means that all the, the rest of the uh, municipal solid waste are not reused. It means plastic, cardboard, uh, metals, everything. So we would like to uh, introduce this residue from biological uh, sorting uh, as part of the mix uh, fuel we are going to produce. Uh, to conclude, so alternative waste fuels are going to be a major energy resource in Europe in the coming years. Gasification is a promising technology with a high efficiency and a limited rate of emission because we use very limited quantity of air. 
size and size distribution of the waste materials are key parameters and they determine the permeability and the continuous circulation of the bed. Density of the particle is also important to control the phenomenon of clogging and vaulting. The ratio of inorganic material ash ratio is also a parameter important. Uh, the study allowed to arise consciousness about the physical, mechanical, crucial aspect of gasification. And we recommend uh, association of different kinds of waste to address this. And the challenge will be to develop the production of new energy local resources from waste produced at territorial scale in a circular economy perspective. Thank you very much for your attention.